Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing with you guys a beautiful soft glam look, and it is using the brand new Aspen and Tarte palette. This palette is amazing, guys. I'm obsessed with it. I picked it up a few days ago when it launched, and I picked it up from Ulta, and I have been using it nonstop. I haven't put it down for days. Every single look that I've been doing for the past few days has been with this palette. I love how it comes with the eyeshadows, a blush, and a highlight. You need this product in your life, trust me. And I just love, love, love the entire look of it, even down to the packaging. The packaging is beautiful as all this floral, rose gold, and metallic-y look to it. In the back it has Aspen's photo, and then it has like more details about the palette. In my Twitter I mentioned that this would honestly be a palette that I dreamed of making. Like floral is all me, and then with the rose gold, the metallic, it's beautiful. This is something that, that I have dreamed of creating, and you know, Aspen has really, really good taste, and so does Tarte. I love all their products. I'm so happy they came out with it, even though it wasn't me. <laughs> it's still very beautiful. The shades in there are so pigmented and buttery, and they just blend out so nicely. This blush is amazing. I love blushes that are just like this, nice and rosy, pinky shades. And this highlight is beautiful. It's something that if you don't want too much brightness and too much blindingness coming from your highlight, this is the one to get. And it's beautiful overall, so congrats Aspen and Tarte for an amazing collab, amazing launch. The launch party was so beautiful as well. I mentioned that also in the tweet that I was just talking about, and I just loved it all, so congrats again. And of course, I had to wear floral for this tutorial so that I can show you guys this soft glam look and tie it back to the packaging. So there it is. So this look has been, like I said, my go-to for the past couple of days. If I want a soft glam look, this is what I have been going with. So I'm gonna be using this phenomenal palette along with other great products to show you guys how I came up with this look. So let's get to it. So I already applied my moisturizers, serums, eye creams, and I already got that part out of the way. You guys have seen that in my videos a lot, and it hasn't really changed, so let's move on to our eye makeup. I am so excited to be using this palette on camera. It is beautiful, as you can see. I love that you can use this product um, three different times while you're doing your makeup, and that's with eyeshadow, your blush, and your highlights. Ever since I got this palette, I have been using it nonstop, like I mentioned, and I cannot wait to show you guys my soft glam look. I'm gonna go in with the shade Married Life that's right here, and it's a very nice, natural shade that you can use as a base, and I'm just applying that all over my lid, just to set the concealer I used as the eyeshadow primer. I am serious guys, ever since I got this palette I haven't put it down every single day I'm creating a new look with it and you know when you first look at it you see all of these like similar shades but they're very different honestly. I've just been playing around with it, creating different looks out of it. So next up I'm going in with this shade right here and it is called Tea Time and I'm going to apply that all over my crease. These shades are so pigmented and so buttery. They just glide on the skin so nicely and they blend out so, so nicely. Next, I'm going in with this shade right here, Road Trip, and I'm gonna apply that all over my lid just as a base for one of the shimmer shadows that I'm gonna use. And now for the shimmer shade, I'm going to use the middle one right here, and this one's called Heart of Gold. I'm going to use some Fix Plus on my brush to apply it, just so that it can look nice and shimmery and very bright. And I'm just going to apply it to the middle of my eyelid. So that's the eyeshadow I'm going to be going with and it is a very soft glam look so I'm not going to go in with liner I'm just going to apply falsies right on top and then move on with the rest of my face 
But before we put on our falsies, I'm going in with mascara and I'm using this one by Rimmel London. It is the Volume Accelerator in Extreme Black. And I'm just gonna apply one quick coat of it on my lashes. For falsies, I'm gonna be using these really, really cute ones from Ardell, and these are the Demi Wispies. These lashes have been seriously my go-to lashes. They're just the perfect volume, the perfect length, and I feel like they go so well with a soft look or a dramatic look, and you know, they're so cheap. Sometimes at Walgreens or even Ulta, you can find these for um, buy one, get one half off, and that's definitely when I stock up on these lashes. And the trick with falsies also is that you want to get them super close to your natural lashes so that you can not see where the falsies start and where your actual lashes start. On a look like this where I'm not using liner, I want to make sure that I get them super super close to my actual lashes so that you won't be able to see the lash glue. Lashes make the biggest difference. Look at how this eye looks compared to this one. Beautiful. So those are our eyes and now let's move on to our face makeup. So I cheated a little and I actually used one of the products from my BoxyCharm box. I did receive it but I wasn't able to make a video yet for it. But I wanted to give this product a try because I had heard so many great things about it. So I have been using it along with this eyeshadow palette for the past couple days and it is this one here. It is the Cover Effects Blurring Primer and it is phenomenal guys. This is one of the best primers I have ever used. It feels so buttery and it just feels so nice on the skin. Trust me, you guys need to try this out. I've actually recommended it to friends. When you put it on your face, it automatically blurs everything out and then your face just feels so cushiony and so velvety. It is one of the best primers I've ever used and that's saying a lot. I have used the Benefit Professional and I've loved that primer. I even love the Soap, Soap and Glory one that I've been using lately, but this one is honestly so good. <laughs> I cannot say enough great things about it. It is just a great product and I'm so happy I got it in my boxy charm. It makes your skin feel like very cushiony and like a pillow top. It just feels so nice. Moving on to foundation, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and I use the shade Ivory Nude and I'm going to be applying that with my Nude Beauty Blender. So like I mentioned, this has been my go-to soft glam look and it's just so easy to put together and it just looks so beautiful and it lasts all day thanks to the primer and the foundation. For concealer, I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Then to set everything up, I'm using the Airspun Translucent Powder. For bronzer, I'm going in with the Hoola Bronzer. I'm just applying that all over the hollows of my cheekbones and then my forehead. For blush, I'm going in with the one from the Aspen and Tarte palette and it's this one here called Made You Blush. I feel like all the names in this palette are so cute. So the names in here are Made You Blush for the blush, Pure Soul for the highlight, and then the eyeshadows are Brilliant, High School Sweetheart, Endless Summer, Santorini Sands, Heart of Gold, Road Trip, Married Life, Tea Time, and Wonderlust. So cute. I love those names. And they all tie together to be just like a super cutie palette. Love that. So I'm going in with this brush and applying the blush. This blush is so pretty. It is a perfect pinky blush and I just think the color payoff of this is so, so nice. I'm just blending out a little bit more. 
I like to apply my blush from the apples of my cheeks all the way back and blend it out. This highlight is just a beautiful highlight if you're going with a look where you don't want a blinding, super bright highlight. It is just the right amount of shimmer and the right amount of champagne color. I love how that looks. Now I'm going to finish off my eyes and brows, then we'll move on to lips. For eyebrows, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Duo Powder, like always, and I'm applying that with a lighter hand. I'm not going to go in too deep just because this is a soft glam, so I don't want super, super harsh eyebrows. And then to highlight the brows, I'm going back in with that highlight pure soul and just putting it right at the arch of our eyebrows. Now for our bottom lash line, I'm going in with Tea Time again and I'm just going to apply that under there and then blend it out. Then for my waterline, I'm using the NYX Wonder Pencil just to open up our eyes just a little bit more. We're gonna add a light coat of mascara to our bottom lashes with the same Rimmel London Mascara. And then lastly for our eyes, I'm going to use the same highlight, Pure Soul, to add that to the inner corner of our eyes. For lips, I'm going in with the ColourPop Lip Color in Midi. It is a matte lip shade that is a really nice nude with a little bit of pink to it. I feel like this lip color really lightens up the entire look. And then to set the entire look, I'm going to be using the Morphe Setting Spray. Love this setting spray. Love how it just shoots out continuously. And that's our completed look. It is a beautiful, soft, glam look. I love creating this look almost every single day when I just need to be nice and glam, but not too harsh, not too bold, and I just love it. It's a beautiful look created by a beautiful palette. I'm obsessed with this palette, like I mentioned. Um, Aspen and Tarte did, did an amazing job collabing on this project. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys pick one of these palettes up. It is definitely needed in your collection. Trust me when I say, when you first look at it and look at all those neutral shades, you think, I don't need that, I have that in other palettes, but you do need this. I promise you do need it. <laughs> so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another video from me and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!